have our, of course, our dovetails cut. So now let's uh, we kind of finish up our turning here. And, uh, you know, we roughed it in earlier. And so now we want to, you know, kind of bring down more to the profile of the uh, uh, pattern here. So um, I've got measurements on here, two and an eighth, inch and a quarter, two and seven eighths. So this part right here I've already measured is pretty close. We need to bring this down some more and this a little more. And uh, so I just uh, continue on with the gouge, kind of like we were doing uh, roughing it out earlier. So we're going to go ahead and bring some of this on down and get a little closer to uh, our shape here. And then we'll finish up with the skew. So. And as you're going along, you can, uh, you know, reference your uh, your pattern. Uh, as you go along, kind of make sure you're in the uh, in the ballpark. So now, I know this part's inch and a quarter, so I'm going to make just a reference uh, with a parting tool. Make a. Uh, So it's pretty close, and I think this is, yeah, we're close enough there. So two and an eighth, inch and a quarter, two and seven eighths right here. on our layout right through here so now we're gonna I'm gonna finish up down here with the gouge and then uh, we'll make a pass with the skew kind of clean it up a little bit
just kind of look, see where your bumps and humps are. I'm gonna make sure, yeah, not too bad. So now we're gonna move down. And uh, finish up the top right here. And I usually uh, bring it uh, pretty much straight across. And then uh, round it off, or start rounding it. And of course you can, uh, as you're going, check your pattern, you know, have a look at it. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty forgiving turning. Like I said, if it's in the ballpark, it's, uh, it, it looks fine. I, th I think the, uh, as long as you get close, you're, uh, you'll, you'll be doing well here. So now we've got this kind of rough to shape, and you can kind of see, I hope, by the pattern a little bit. So one other little thing, right here at the top, these top two edges here kind of roll back in just a little, kind of almost makes just a little ball on the end. Uh, I didn't realize this when I was measuring the uh, original table, but when I was looking at the patterns we would made from the uh, profile, uh, profile gauge, it actually is just a little bit ball shaped and I look back at the pictures and I could see it then but I did notice it when I was looking at the original table so so we're just gonna bring that down just a little Then one last thing is I'm gonna use my auger that I'm gonna to use to bore the hole for the crossboard. I'm gonna set my calipers to it. And we're gonna turn the uh, little round tenon up here to final shape, or final size rather. This tenon doesn't need to be but seven eighths long, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it just a little bit long so I can check it before we uh, cut it off. Okay. At that point, unless you're a better turner than me, which wouldn't take a lot, uh, you know, if you can do good enough with the uh, skew, you don't have to do the sanding, but I, I'm not that good. So. so here again, just like what we did earlier on this part. And I'm starting this time with about 180 because I know I've got some, uh, it's a little bit rough and a little bit of vibration there. So.
that's pretty good. We're ready to move on to the, uh, we hit it with a little bit of 220 and then uh, 320. So get rid of that. There's a little bit of uh, sanding marks there, but you can kind of see, see where we're at. Okay, so that's pretty good there. You can kind of see where we're at. Uh, we're pretty close to our uh, pattern. Not bad at all, so good enough. Uh, also, I mentioned it earlier in the video about uh, making this is a, a negative kind of of the pattern and you can use, if you make one of them, use something like that. And actually, uh, just eyeballing, I'm pretty close. I'm a little high right here, so but uh kind of give you an idea so but uh, like i said i usually don't use that i can you get close enough it was pretty forgiving turning like uh, we've talked about earlier i think all the most of the magic what makes this table happen is in the legs uh, this turning does need to be you know a profile i think something similar to this you know but if it varies a little it's not a big deal like if the legs vary it, it is a big deal and uh, one other thing I failed to mention when I started uh, with, as you're turning this, don't, I'm, I'm notorious, I, you know, the feel of it as I'm going to see what, uh, what kind of surface I'm getting to. Uh, don't let your hand get over here on the, uh, where these uh, mortises for the uh, legs are because that would uh, whew, be bad. So, uh, okay, at this point we're ready to uh, go back to the bench. We're going to put the legs back in, mark the... Uh, radius from the, our finished turning here onto the legs and uh, then we'll fit our top make sure it's right before we cut off our extra here because once we cut this noggin off uh, we don't really have a good center again so so okay let's go back to the bench and uh, we'll get the legs finished up mm -hmm. 